Praise God, Sound the Alarm Ministries, the Praise Word Interactive Bible Study and Prayer Call. We were rushing to get everything set up the way it needs to be set up, amen. I'm going to let you hear about seven minutes of, of what was recorded on my uh, smartphone, amen, because um, we're behind, we're not, well, God is able. Check it out. That's not the right recording. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> been in warfare all day long. The devil is alive. to myself, but I'm actually doing a recording right now. God bless you, bro. Amen. Amen. For the broadcast that is yet to come. Amen. Sound the alarm ministers. We'll be doing a podcast of this uh, message this evening. Um, we'll be uploaded tomorrow, uh, Lord's will. Amen. We just thank God 
for everything. I know I seem like I'm talking to myself, but I'm doing a recording or a broadcast that we're doing. Hey, man, yeah, yeah, it started at 8. Yes, sir, we're going to do a podcast. Um, and we're going to do that in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. So I'm walking and talking, walking and talking, broadcasting as I walk, as I talk. Amen. Using all these resources we got. <laughs> amen. Sounding Alarm Ministries. Amen. 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 But you, but you know what I didn't do? Uh-oh. Sherry's going to have to do it. <laughs> amen. I got the stuff ready for the podcast. She got to call in. Oh. Uh-huh. Or you sit down in the car. Yeah, I can do it in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, 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 amen. Um, we're going to get everything set up here because prayerfully Sherry got her phone with her. Okay, because you got to do the call in. <laughs> amen, amen. I'm steadily talking. I'm steadily talking because don't you know the numbers? <laughs> I know them. Amen. 641-715-3580. Access code 975 <coughs> Access code 975-635-POUND. Now, I hope you know how to record. Amen, amen. That's the access code. Amen. Now, now she's the host, so she should be set up on the phone. You should know the host number. Gotta come up with the host number. Amen. Amen. Hill Arm Ministries. Amen. Amen. Lord Hammer. Ah, uh, Jesus. All right. Well, we're doing the broadcast. We're doing the podcast. Amen. 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 Well, we're moving on from there. We're now live, amen, at Sound the Alarm Ministries. We, I'm about ready to go in here and connect up with Pastor Evangelist Sherry O. Weathersby, amen, because she should be ready to we're ready to go into the ministering of what we're going to do with the Word of God tonight in the interactive Bible study, amen. We are live. We have a live podcast going right now. We have a live podcast going right now, so we're going to get ready to get into the Word Amen, amen. I'm going to make a call in. I'm going to let her start talking. She needs to keep talking. Amen. We bless the Lord. He is our strength, y'all. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. The word of God says, praise God, in Psalms 27 and 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amen, amen. And how many know, praise God, hallelujah, that that strength is Jesus. That it's not by our might or power, but it's by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. And God promised to be there, didn't he? He said he would never leave us. He would never forsake us. He will be with us even what? Until the ends of the world. Amen. David said, I will look into the hills. From whence cometh my help, my help coming from the Lord who made what? The heavens and the earth. Amen, amen. So we know, praise God, hallelujah, that we got to lean and depend on Jesus. Hallelujah, because it's not by our might, it's not by our power, is it? It's by, praise God, the strength and spirit of the living God. Amen. Even in Isaiah 41 and 10, he says, Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Hallelujah. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of what? My righteousness. Amen, amen. He is our strength. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is our stay. Hallelujah. And when you got strength, you got stability. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where you can say there's an old song that says, I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of the living water. I shall not be moved. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus, why? Jesus is my captain. And I shall not be moved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why we don't have to be moved. Because we got somebody, y'all, that's on our side. Who will never, ever let us down. Amen. Praise God. And we thank the Lord 
Amen, amen. We, we, we're going to get into the subject amen. for the interactive amen. Bible study this evening. We're talking about death and life. Amen. We tried to get everything all coordinated in the hustle and bustle of what we were doing. We were moving from one ministry to the other. And I know my wife was rushing. I heard her say some things that uh, I'm, I'm a grace and mercy is in effect, amen. Uh, um, because she, she yeah. Yeah, grace and mercy is in effect. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, we, we're going to talk about something that's a subject that's a very important subject, particularly in these days and times. Amen. There's a lot of death that's going on around the world. Amen. And in, particularly in the United States of America and even in our own place where we live, the city of Wilmington, Delaware, and we are assured that it's happened where you live as well. Amen. Uh, death is hitting pretty hard these days. I, I heard of someone... <coughs> Um, um, that that I uh, uh, was endeared to, amen, that lost his life tragically in a fire, and it really touched my heart because I had a brother two years ago that experienced that same death. And in the midst of it all, in the midst of it all, we need to know that there is a God and that he is able, amen. He's concerned about everything that pertains to us, even death. Yeah. Amen. And we want to make, we want to bring out some things and buy and to see an interactive Bible Thank study. You, and I don't know if there's anyone else on besides us. Amen. Well, praise God. If there's not, then what we're going to do is we're going to operate. We're going to operate uh, um, by way of the Holy Ghost as this, it's going to be she, my wife and I. So I need her to, you know, so because we're going to be bouncing off one another. And also, um, on this podcast, this information is going out live, because I was able to, uh, 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 it only captured seven minutes, y'all, six minutes and 59 cents of what I was recording when I was leaving the Sunday breakfast mission, but I got that on here on the live podcast, and we picked it up right from there live, Thanks so God. this is what we have. We're going to be talking about death, and one of the, one of the um, uh, uh, stories in the Bible that centers around death it deals with in, in the New Testament is in John, found in John, the 11th chapter, amen, uh, uh, the, the 11th chapter of John. I'm going to start reading at that first verse, amen, John, the 11th chapter, and I'm going to read from the Amplified Bible, and we're going to talk about this and, 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 it, and, and the concern regarding death. Now, a certain man named Lazarus was ill. He was of Bethany, the village where Mary and her sister Martha lived. This Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. It was her brother Lazarus who was now sick. So the sister sent to him, that, that, that's Jesus, y'all, saying, Lord, he whom you love so well is sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord have mercy. That verse right there, I just read that. Oh, my God, they were playing Jesus. They were trying to play up on his emotion for the man, the friend that he loved, whom you love so well is sick. That, like Jesus needs that. He don't need that. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Why do we try to play God like we playing one another? Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. When Jesus <laughs> received the message, he said, This sickness is not to end in death. But on the contrary, it is to honor God and to promote his glory that the Son of God may be glorified through by it. What I need to do is that anybody that listens to this recording, you stick a pen in verse 4 and remember what the word of God said, what Jesus himself said. Now, Jesus loved Martha mm -hmm. and her sister and Lazarus, and they were his dear friends, and he held them in loving esteem. Therefore, even when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he still stayed two days longer in the same place where he was. Oh, my God. Fifth verse said Jesus loved them both. He loved everybody. He loved Martha. He loved her sister, uh, which is Mary and Lazarus. They were his dear friends. He held, he held them in loving esteem. But when he heard that Lazarus was sick, sick, mm -hmm. he stayed back two days. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, I hear Tina Turner. What's love got to do with that? Mm -hmm. If he was loving, he hold us in such high esteem, you would have think Jesus would have came running to see his friend. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we got explanation for this too. Then after that interval, he said to his disciples, let us go back again to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews only recently were intending and trying to stone you. And are you thinking of going back there again? Oh, yeah, they were really concerned about Jesus. Mm -hmm. They were scared they were going to get stoned. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just saying. Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours in the day? Understand this, y'all. Understand this. I'm so glad that verse.